On today's episode of the Derod Messinger Show, Dylan and I are ranking the offensive linemen for the new EA Sports College Football video game. Longhorns fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. It's greatly appreciated. Check us out at hornsports.com for all the latest news. And Dylan, we're talking ratings for this Texas O-line. I'm getting right into it. I think the bright, shining star of this group, obviously, is Kelvin Banks Jr. So I'll start with him. And Dylan, the rest of them I kind of grouped together. Because offensive line ratings, honestly, it's like you know a shot in the dark in the uh, the dart room. So, Kelvin Banks Jr., I'm giving a 96. Do you agree? Disagree? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna have him in the 97 to 96 range. Like it, he should be the premier left tackle in the NCAA, Devin, um, compared to a lot of other people. And plus, when we're pinching pennies on the on the grades for like let's say C.J. Baxter, Jadon Blue, ultimately it's not gonna matter. Um, cause if you swing to the left side, um, there's just going to be a gaping hole that the offensive line can create. So, and he's going to be leading the charge. So yeah, I completely agree. I think the 97, 96 range is where it'll be at. Cause I, I don't know how lenient they're going to be, or I guess I'm trying to think of the best word, how liberal they're going to be with just 99 overall, you know? Yeah. I, I don't think unless you come into the season being an award winner that you're going to get that 99. Now, of course, Kelvin had his share of honors, Dylan, which is why you get to that 96 for me, but we'll see. Maybe by the end of the year, it's upgraded. Now we're moving to the group as a whole, Dylan. This past Mm. season, Texas had a top five O-line group, not number one. Unfortunately, us Texas fans saw that against Washington. I believe they were the top group, Dylan, last year. But just to go off in order of... The remaining guys, you got Hayden Connor, Jake Majors, DJ Campbell, and Cam Williams. The range I went for those guys was 85 to 92. I think 92 would be a Jake Majors candidate just because he's the experienced one of the group. Of course, a couple of these guys have a fair number of starts under their belt, but Majors is the veteran. How do you feel about that range? Well, it's a huge range, so it can definitely fit a lot of these guys in there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, again, this is going to be one of the best offensive lines, if not the best, uh, that you can have. So I'm looking at the 87 Devin, to the 92 range for a lot of these guys, just in the way of, like, the run-blocking schemes. A lot of moments where when Jonathan Brooks was playing, wide-open gaps to run through. You saw that with C.J. Baxter and Blue as well later on in the season, too. And just being able to keep viewers upright for most of the season as well. So, yeah, again, I think the uh, – I think 87 would be kind of where I put the bar for all these guys. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's that's about where I would have it. I mean, I think that's fair. I mean, guys like Cam Williams, not too many starts under his belt. I would go, as Dylan said, 87, or for me, 85. And then from there, pretty much the more starts you have, the closer you have to the 90s in terms of a rating. And, Dylan, as you said, Texas is going to be a fun team just because of their running back talent, wide receiver talent. Of course, they have a quarterback throwing the ball as well. But as you also mentioned, Kelvin Banks on the left side, and this whole unit is quite talented. So even if you didn't have the best rated guys around you, I think you could make up for it as you were talking about earlier. And, you know, you got both the high rated guys and the guys protecting you. <laughs> and that's the thing. How much blocking are you going to need when all you have to do is a wide receiver screen to, to Matthew Golden and he just takes it 90 yards, right? So at the end of the day, it might not even matter in this game. Shades of Xavier Worthy uh, scoring on the first play of the Red River, Dylan. But what do you guys think about these ratings? Let us know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great rest of your day.